Hey, hi, Lisa Marie here. And um, there's a weird light coming in. Sorry about that. Uh, I have been having a lot of people ask me uh, the question about my loose skin. And if I'm planning on having uh, skin removal surgery and things like that. And I've also watched a few people who have lost the weight and had skin removal surgery. And um, my doctor and the surgeons that I've seen have, um, I wouldn't say required, but have strongly suggested that we wait at least one year after having weight loss surgery, actually not even after the surgery, it's after reaching your goal weight. After reaching your goal weight, then waiting a year. And I know, I know, that sounds absolutely insane and um, crazy and I made the promise to myself and I, you know, swore up and down, I'll do anything to stay on track and make the right choices and lose weight, get it off, and I'm gonna keep it off forever. Well, all of us lifelong fatties have a lot of fat habits, right? And a lot of fat brain that sometimes can take over. Now, what I've learned had I, ha and, and it actually took me, when I just started looking back in my um, weight tracker, I didn't actually we 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 bleh, reach my goal until about um, between 10 and 11 months after my weight loss surgery. And it was actually, because my surgery was in October, it was in September that I stayed consistently at that weight for about three or four weeks and then into October, and then into November. Well, let me tell you, you start getting brave, and you start trying stuff, and you start doing all these different things after about a year, a uh, year and a couple of months, and guess what happens? If you start increasing your carbs, and maybe not exercising as much, or making just different unwise choices, and they keep going on and on, Guess what happens? You gain weight, right? So, back up, rewind. My doctor was explaining to me that our bodies, after the weight loss surgery, just on the inside alone, where the incision was, um, what was either rerouted or taken out, that is healing for at least 12 months. 12 to 18 months, really. And really, up to two years is where your whole body is still trying to get used to if you're really doing what you're doing and you really mean it and you're really not gonna fall off the wagon and go back to the old ways that you used to do things. Your body is trying to adjust as well. So, if, pretend, if I would have had weight loss surgery a year ago, uh, not weight loss, skin removal. If I would have had skin removal surgery a year ago, you know what would have happened? I fluctuated about three, three to five pounds, up and down, up and down. It was just three pounds for months. And then it crept up and it was five pounds. And then I'd go back down and come back up and go back down. Well, now I'm about seven, eight pounds. I kind of go up, I kind of go down. I kind of go up, I kind of go down. Can you imagine Already right now, my incisions and my scars, I can tell when I've gained even more, when I've gained the seven, eight pounds, nine pounds, because they pull and they hurt <laughs> and they don't feel good. Um, can you imagine if I would have had skin removal surgery and everything would have been all maybe almost healed up by now? you know, wait a year, now it's, you know, eight months, six months later, sorry. What would have happened? If I would gain weight after losing the weight and then after having skin removal surgery, you could bust a stitch. Stuff on the inside still isn't healed. What if you stretch that out? What if something goes awry on the inside? Let alone stretch marks, 
let alone the pain. I mean, come on. So my understanding, my idea, what I think my doctor was trying to tell me was it takes your body, your physical body, a year to a year and a half to heal on the inside. But it takes a year or more for our brain to heal from the moment we get to our goal weight. I mean, heck, look at how much changes after we reach our goal weight. Our habits are different, our self-confidence is different, our clothes are different, our activity is different, the way we think about food, look at food, maybe even obsess in a different way about food is totally different. So imagine if you throw another thing in there that you have to get used to all over again. I mean, one of my friends just had skin removal surgery and it's actually been five years since she had surgery. And um, I wanna say four years since she reached her goal. I might have been a little less than that, but whatever. She's been living in this body for four years, five years. And she said when she looked down and no longer saw the hanging, flabby stomach and thigh and stuff that she had now kind of grown accustomed to, she actually had a, a meltdown and she mourned it. And she was like, oh my gosh, what did I do? What have I done to myself? How many of us said that right after surgery? <laughs> Especially when we couldn't eat and drink very much. I mean, I did. So I really think what our doctors are trying to tell us is give ourselves a break. Give ourselves a chance to heal. Give ourselves and our brain and our bodies to catch up with how we're living and what we're doing and the choices we're making and and then kind of test yourself and make sure you really are going to make these wise choices and you're going to continue to do them. I mean, I researched this for quite a while. There was no rushing into this. So why rush skin removal surgery? I mean, really, why rush it? Now, if you're getting rashes and you're getting infections and you're getting these different things that you're tracking with your doctor, then it's medically necessary and, and yeah, you might need to do it a little more sooner than later. But I also know somebody who lost a lot of weight, I'm talking over 150 pounds, it was close to 200 pounds, and they still had another 200 pounds-ish to lose. They were really heavy. They actually had skin removal surgery after about a year, year and a half, and then lost even more weight, and guess what? They had even more loose skin. So they had to go through that surgery again, and that recovery is way harder than our bariatric surgery. It's way harder. So I just kinda wanted to share um, between what my doctor told me, what I've kinda researched, what I've witnessed, what I've experienced, um, it's it's a good thing to wait and it's a good thing to not rush it so there's a reason for everything our doctors tell us there's a reason they tell us to eat small small bites and rest between bites and to take our time and watch what we eat and to walk 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 and then incorporate other physical activity there's a reason for this because our bodies are still healing and if we rush any part of the process we only get one time to heal right so if you rush any part of the process you're putting yourself at risk maybe not right now maybe not at this moment but five years ten years twenty years down the road what if what you did today affects then I mean heck what I did 25 30 35 40 years ago really did affect me prior to having my surgery, which was only just two, almost two years ago, a year and a half. So the other side of it's gotta be true too. We just have to take our time. But I just thought I'd share that with you because people are asking me, people are saying, how do I deal with it? And what do I do? And, and yeah, I mean, you've seen my arms, they don't look that bad. 
and and I have loose skin and it's longer than where my body really is and I've shown you my stomach um, I haven't shown you my butt and my thighs and all of that but um, there's a lot there and it's um, just now starting to really actually bother me mm, a little bit emotionally excuse me but not 24 7 so I really think my doctor's right in that I just need to give it time and just kind of wait and see if that's what I really want to do plus I don't have any sick time to do it to take off to do it so I really do have to wait but um, so I just I thought I'd share that with you I can't be the only one thinking about it wondering and all this stuff and um, maybe you are too maybe I shed a little bit of light on it maybe I confused you even more <laughs> um, but you know sometimes the truth we need to hear the truth and the truth is sometimes we just need to not rush it okay I see some comments um, I can't totally see it because look it's even farther than my hand uh, so I'll look at it when I'm done okay have a great rest of the day. Have an awesome weekend and I will talk to you later.